My name is Logan Miles Allison, and I am Logan Miles Allison. <laughs> I have a lot of names. I go by the Heart Hatter, the Art Hatter. I go by Heart or Art or Low or Log or Logan. Whatever is comfortable for you. I would say I've been an artist my whole life. I didn't really know I was an artist, I'd say. I was just having fun kind of just drawing as a ADHD kid. I got this reading comprehension disorder, so after a couple of sentences and a couple of paragraphs of just reading something that I'm not intrigued with, I don't even know what it is that I'm reading. You know, I have no imagination when it comes to putting words into my head. You know, I look at everything pretty black and white, which is sometimes very tough for people and me because then I, I also like take things very black and white, you know. Um, you know, and art has been, I guess, a language that has allowed me to go in between the black and white. There may be a rule book out there on specifics of what art is. But if you're asking me, I'd say there's none. For art is always changing, morphing, and is creating a new meaning for the world. It is interesting to think, though, that we're all in a world of our own, yet somehow we're all in it together. <laughs> Sometimes the best parts are deep down the rabbit hole, where no one is invited. But those who show up are welcome as they continue to jump into the unknown. Mm, I think the process, obviously, it varies a little bit. But... <clears throat> For me, I like to have a topic, right? I, I have to have a specific topic that I'm working on. Some people are like, I just go out and I just flow and I just go, um, which I do that, but I, but I also am flowing with a topic. And so I think my art, my art has been poetry. It's been something that I really feel that I need to share to the world. It's an experience I've been through. It's an experience I've heard. It's an experience I see. It's something I've learned. It's it's an opinion, it's, I mean, it's from so many different parts of what I've experienced in the world, and so I'd say, um, it's unique. It's a, it's a unique category, it's a, it's a word that hasn't been created yet, because I pull from so much different mediums, um, and so much just different styles, so I'd say, uh, it's the first of its kind. It's a, uh, it's art. <laughs> I don't know. It's unique. It's one of one. When one has a crazy experience into a new world, seeing the map for what it is, studying, getting comfortable, and falling again, one realizes that nothing is impossible. Yet, Sometimes things may be impassable, only because the cover was judged at the beginning. I say cool today is not cool tomorrow, that we are all imperfectly perfect, and that we must create a masterpiece every time, because we ourselves are a masterpiece. I, I, I started this whole art career wanting to have, wanting to, uh, to create these hats to, to serve others. I had lost my best friend and, and I had wanted to just be able to like tell people's stories and go out on these roads and be able to uh, like bring the authenticity out of these people and out of or anyone, I say these people, anyone who, who wants to sit down with me. Like I, I love creating these hats. I got six patents on these hats and to be able to create these works of art from scratch and to show people like you're one of one. And I say, like, it's taken me forever to realize that. Like, I am one of one. You're one of one. We are imperfectly perfect. I am perfectly perfect. We all have been shaped by life. And we go through so many different mediums that teach us so much. Life is my palette. And I'm in the middle of it creating a timeless work of art to change somebody's world. While life is still shaping me into this art piece that I am. I am marked like a canvas with every breath that I take. What I see, it's like, 
to let everything go, jump out into the unknown to be used for service, right? It turns into something greater than anything we could ever imagine because it really allows you to tell your story for what you are and what you're doing and what you've overcome. I thought it was the world that had rejected me when in reality it was me who thought I was just not good enough. I've been guided to be exactly where I am today and I'm creating because I too am a work of art, still being molded by the greatest creator of all time. I've got to see so much, right? And so I think that God has finally like touched my heart to just jump into the unknown and fully be used as a paintbrush that I am and I never thought I could be um, it took a bunch of rejection and I would say uh, I started making these canvas pieces because of rejection uh, I, I went out I, I got a hat rejected and uh, it ended up being the best thing in the world so rejection is not a bad thing if we can accept rejection for what it is, it just means that we're growing up and we're finally becoming what we're supposed to be. I am one of one, just like anybody watching this. I want people to know that they have a purpose and they have a voice. We are here to serve and to tell our stories. I have made imperfect decisions, but God, the Creator has been making it perfect. And so I think that like we live in this world and it's a world not of peer pressure of drugs and the alcohol and the, the, the sex and all that. It's, it's, it's deeper than that. It's, it's fully living the truth of what we should be. And I think that being able to tell these stories and to use these stories that have truly affected me and changed my life and seeing the things for what they truly are is where I'm at and, and I'm supposed to tell this story. And so I have thousands and thousands of stories that need to be told. And I told myself I'm going to jump fully into the unknown and I'm going to create something that's going to change the world. I'm going to create something that the world has never seen. I'm going to be used in a way that nobody has ever been used in the art world. The undertone of life is this blank palette that we all have been given. Using art to share the deepest parts of what I see and the deepest parts inside of me. To create a presentation of the in-between, making one work for something that will resonate deeper within their soul knowing my why and getting others to question theirs creating an essence able to speak deeper than language itself placing people beyond their senses into a thought never been free will we have it in this life I am not confined to one medium because nobody is I realize I have this opportunity to be a part of the greatest collaboration that ever was or ever will be I have been given an opportunity to just be, to be used as a paintbrush by the one who created all the heavens and the earth. We've been called to be an art piece. Like each one of us that's that's here on earth is an art piece. We are a, we are art ourselves, right? But the only way that we're gonna truly express who we are is we have to completely let go. So I've used every single thing that I've, that I've ever witnessed and the things that attract me, and I've used them to, uh, to convey what I'm trying to tell the world. Um, man, I'm excited for this journey. I'm not the best reader, I'm not the best writer, but I'm here to, to be used. I'm here to do something be, beyond all imagination and bring people on this journey um, deep within my soul, I guess. I'm going to give them a part of who I am. I'm going to give them all of it. So I'm an artist. I'm Logan Miles Allison. Um, I'm a creator. 
can do it all. So, one and one, just like you.